The flavor of stovetop coffee is the closest to my heart. Even as I learn and explore other brewing methods, nothing brings me home like a good cafecito en grecados. I learned how to brew coffee in a mocha pot when I was six years old. And the smell of the coffee, how it brought my family together, is something that was present every single day. As I grow up and I experiment, I have realized how badly we mistreated our mocha pots. And I want to show you five things that I have learned to make the most out of my stovetop experience. One, make sure your mocha pot is clean. All deposits of stale coffee will negatively affect the flavor and impact your experience. That old saying that all coffee there makes it taste better each time is a huge lie. However, it's not recommended to use soap to clean it, as it can surely change the taste of your next brew. Instead, rinse and scrub with cold water and never let the coffee grounds inside for too long after enjoying your cup of coffee. Two, use hot water to brew your coffee. The less time the mocha pot stays on the fire, the better. When you use cold water, you're basically leaving the coffee grounds to quietly bake in a hot metal container before the water can even reach them. This makes a huge difference in flavor. Three, never go past the tornillito. When adding water to the bottom chamber of your mocha pot, you must always fill it to just the safety valve. If you cover it in water, it is likely to malfunction. It is also normal for some water to be left out in the bottom chamber after you brew. Four, fill the basket with medium fine ground coffee. At this step, make sure you don't press the coffee down or try to pack it or tamp it in any way. It's best to allow some room for the coffee bed to expand as water enters and flows through it. Five, use medium heat, not high. As we said before, we don't want to burn the coffee or the device. And I know there are several old Grecas burned and with melted handles out there. And I won't judge you for it because I have my own. But it's also because the coffee heats up and extracts too fast. This could lead to a bitter, unpleasant taste. As soon as you hear the magnificent sound of the coffee gurgling and the room starts to smell of heaven, that's your cue to turn off the heat to stop distraction. And here's an extra tip for you. The authentic Dominican Café de Greca always includes a little bit of nutmeg added on top of the ground coffee. You can also use cinnamon, ginger, vanilla extract, or any other spices that make your heart happy. It also tastes so much better when you share it. And that's why these mocha pots come in so many sizes. At this point, there's nothing left but to serve your coffee and enjoy it. Please let me know in the comments if you want to learn any other ways of maximizing your mocha pot experience. If you're enjoying this content, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on all of the other things that I have planned for you. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.